Where will I get a pimple next? Good morning, afternoon, New Zealand. It is 3 p.m. I got out of bed at 2.30 p.m. Yes, I slept in. You know why? You know what I did last night? I binged watch Jane the Virgin until 5 a.m. God damn it. I was up on Netflix, like, watching season two because I'm behind. End of season two, I was like, how are you going to end this like this? I had to buy season three on iTunes. And I stayed up and I was like, Gina, girl, how, girl? But it's so goddamn good. That's what I was doing. I woke up with this joy, this beautiful joy. And I'm like, oh, so you're going away, you're going away. And you're just like, hello. The pimples, I don't understand the pimples. I had like three sips of water yesterday, which is like a massive improvement than usual. I'm just saying, God, I'm so hydrated right now. Anyways, here's the mission for today. We are going to go to the venue. You should have this memorized by now. Do my hair and makeup, meet and greet some people, do sound check, do the show, meet some golden ticket winners, and then go to bed because tomorrow we are heading to Malaysia. The first time we're going to Malaysia tomorrow, right? Malaysia for the first time. Aside from all of that, I'm going to drink as much water as I can. And I'm hoping by tomorrow this pimple's like, oh my god. Oh my god. Kale is here. My room is a sauna. It is. It's an actual sauna. You know why? Because I slept like kind of naked last night for the first time like ever in my life I feel. I don't ever. usually sleep naked, no. But I was like, I'm in a hotel, I got my little lock on, I'm gonna sleep naked and just enjoy these sheets right here. Woke up in a puddle of sweat. Here. Oh, this is a no smoking area. <sighs> Sorry, me and my body gotta leave. Yeah, okay, rewind yourself, girl. <laughs> All right, we're here. It's time to do hair and makeup. So we're in my change room. This is the one thing I love about the TV is they know I hate being cold, so the heat is blasting. It's cooking in here. Nothing is better than these mirrors right here. Oh, I mean, it's not gonna solve this. I'm, I'm being self-deprecating. I actually love myself. I don't care if I have pimples, but it's just funny because it hurts so much and it's so ugly. But I love myself. This is me kissing myself, French kissing myself. Maybe that's why I have a pimple there. Let's do it. Minor detail about today's mission, we gotta add something. Zoom! Record a video after the show. Somehow it's Sunday. Somehow tomorrow's Monday. Somehow. Get ready for climate change. My room, my room, my room, my room, my room. And I have frostbite. Let's go do a sound check. All right, here we are. Boss letters are set up. This venue is beautiful, by the way. Wow, that screen is bright and beautiful. How's the venue? Venue's great. It's great. gonna be a good show. The venue's Frosted Flakes. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. Check, 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 check. Had a great sound check. The in is a little bit staticky and cutting out, which means John has to rearrange the antennas, which is why we always do a sound check. Even though I'm not performing music and there's not dancers, it's important to do a sound check because sometimes the in ear can start cutting out and start doing crazy things. It's good to iron out those details before the show. Also, John does a sick thing where, you know, in every chapter of my book, there's a different color theme. He tries to replicate them with the lights. So every section of the show has a different lighting, feel, and vibe to it. That's all John. He kills the game. Kills the game. Let's go finish getting ready. Dun, 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 dun. I burped. Let's go meet and greet some people! <laughs> Nice. High five. Team Super. Go yeah. show her love. Show her love. Love you, Lily. I've been looking forward to meeting you, my love. Such a pleasure. So I'm at 
this show called How to Be a Boss, right? And I'm like stepping up in the place thinking I'm the boss, but no! Today, there's a bigger boss here. Her name is Chantel. Look how gorgeous and beautiful she is. And you watched my videos for how long? Like over a year and a half now. Oh, you and a half. Oh my god. I'm, oh, do you have a favorite video? No, they're she's all like, amazing. All of the good hands are all of them. And she's the biggest boss ever. And I'm so honored to meet you. So I hope you like the show. Thanks. It's gonna be the, uh, the best show I put on today before Chantel right now. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. I just met and greet 150 people. You're all so lovely and sweet. So many tears at this meet and greet. I think it's because I haven't come to New Zealand for a really, really long time. The last time I was here was like four or five years ago. So it's been a while. I felt really special. Thank you. The show starts in 30 minutes. And for the past 30 minutes, I've been going through my emails and doing work because I'm like, yo, not only about working hard. I sent an email to my team. I talk so fast. I know. Basically every night when I tell people what my vlog's going to be about, I send it to my team and I say, you know, here's what the title should be. Here's what the thumbnail should be because sometimes I can't post them always. I always start that email with a quote of the day. So like sometimes I'll stay up for 30 extra minutes at night just looking for a quote that I really believe in that I send my team. Yesterday's was a video that was about not just working harder, but working smarter. And so right now I'm like 30 minutes, great. Well, let me work smarter. What's up, Simon? Simon, get over here, get in my vlog. This is Simon, everyone. You probably remember him from ATTUI. Is this Simon? There you go. He's awesome. He's been killing the Australia, like the tour, amazing venues. This is the only time Amaz she me eat. Oh, yes, that's right. That's right. It's the only time I like me. He's doing a great job. Good job, Simon. <laughs> killing the game. But yeah, it's about not just working harder, but also smarter. So I'm like 30 minutes. I'm gonna get as much work as I can done right now. So I'm blazing through my emails. <laughs> Oh, I stretch too much, my pimple hurts. Put it, put it, put it. Welcome to the last show, New Zealand. I've never performed here with one of my shows. It's always been a festival. I've only been here once. I'm so excited. The audience is so lit. Ah, it's gonna be a good time. Let's do New Zealand, Auckland. I love no. them. There I was. They're matching. The That's my thumbs up. What up, everyone? It's your girl, Superwoman, and I'm in Auckland. Check them out! Oh, wait. Let me try that one more time. What up, everyone? It's your girl, Superwoman, and I'm in Auckland. Check them out! Because when you leave this room, you are going to master your mind. You are going to hustle harder. You are going to head turn. You are going to be a unicorn. You're going to work so hard that you're not just going to survive life. You are going to conquer life. One, two, three, go. One love superwoman. That is a rock and so. Rise up this morning, here we go. <laughs> Smile at the rising sun. Oh, sit three in a bed. Boom. It's by my doorstep. Sit three in a bed. I'm going to your entry. Say what they say, go. Who ever did not bring me here 
here for AP2 as they fire that show. <laughs> I will keep coming back here. <laughs> Can you see me out? Say don't worry. New Zealand? Holy crap. I said on stage and I'll say it again. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for not coming here for HTUI because I did a disservice to not only you but myself. You were such a good damn audience. You what? You about glow sticks? Y'all sang Bob Marley in unison after the show? Like, I am. This was everything. I am. I'm deceased. I got. You were so everything and so nice and respectful and caring, and I cannot. I just cannot. I was walking right into this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the show? Yeah. Yes. Promise? Yes. Promise? And the golden ticket winners from Auckland are... <laughs> yeah, kill them again! Guys, don't try it. We forgot Kyle. Kyle! Kyle! Kyle, guys, we forgot Kyle! Oh. At the hotel, obviously forgot my room key. We now to get a new one. The show was great. Now I have to make a video, and I'm committed to doing this. But I just got some bad news. I'm really sad about it. I'm trying to be so grateful because it's bad, but it's not like so. It's still a really awesome situation. So I was planning to stay like a lot more days in Singapore. I was gonna be like, I'm gonna vacate in Singapore for like three, four days. And I got an email that my schedule has to change, and after my show, essentially the next morning, I believe. That Which I'm really upset about. I know that's still really great to be in Singapore. I feel stupid for saying that. I was really looking forward to spending like two, three days there, but I don't think that can happen now. But I did tweet Marina Bay Sands because I love the swimming pool. We're still gonna try to get, even though I'm not gonna be there, we still gotta see if we can get Team Super Fans to. Because I remember I was tweeted, I was like, I want some Team Super Fans to go swimming with me. I'm not gonna be there, but we already were tried to go through that process. So if they let us, because Kyle's, are you still staying, right? I do get to yeah, stay. Yeah, she gets. <laughs> He gets to stay. Take my fans swimming for me. I will. Can you take them swimming? I'm not gonna entertain them as well as you would, but I'll I'm be so like, sad I can't be there. I believe the next morning. So still grateful. Still grateful. But Wale will take care of me. You hear that one moan? So ugly. That one moan in Selena's song. She's like, oh baby. And I was like, oh baby. Yeah, it's so good. Oh baby. Whatever the F she says is so good. Everybody getting turned. Everyone's like, oh. Everybody get mad turned on. I'm, I'm okay, I just need a deal. I can't, I can't even look at myself right now. All right, let's write a video. We're like, order food, do all of the above. Oh, baby. There ain't wrong with a little bump and that doesn't look as appetizing in the vlog, but it's mashed potatoes, it's be bomb. And chili flakes, because I know where I'm from. Boom, boom, pals, the time is about midnight. I'm gonna start writing my video. Trying to do the math in my brain, you already know what's coming, is it's, the time zones are so difficult when we're on tour, because right now it's midnight, here's technically Monday, in LA it's 5 a.m. Sunday. So I technically don't have to, okay, this is where I'm at. I wanna write the video. I don't wanna record it in this room, because the lighting is so bad. Like, I, I got them to bring up this lamp, but there's no place to record. It's gonna be so dim and ugly. I'm also getting to the point where like my makeup has to be redone. This is a hot event mess. And pop this goddamn pimple. So if I write it, I technically could land in Malaysia and record it and it would still be out on time because of how ahead I am time zone. But if the Wi-Fi is really bad in the hotel, that's gonna suck. And I also land at night. So if it's dark just like this, it's gonna suck as well. I'm tempted to make sure I just write it before I sleep even if I don't record it. Because this is literally the only place I can think to record the video is gonna be this hallway. And this is gonna be the background of the video. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's just not gonna be pretty, and I don't wanna do it here. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. We'll see what I write, and we'll see how it goes. Yay, it's 12.30, and I got the base of my video done. So, when I, I write my videos, I always make point form first, and I put my main points, and once I have the main points, I'm in good shape, because then I just have to build on it, and I have my main points. I actually thought of the idea because of the episode of Jane, the version I watched before writing. Hashtag schedule inspiration. Oh, watching Jane, I was like, oh, this would be a really good idea, and now I have one. I think I'm gonna to flush it out a bit more and now I have an excuse to watch an episode of J another episode of Jane because I'm like more ideas for my script but I think I'm gonna write and shoot tomorrow I think that's what I'm deciding on my hair is a mess makeup's a mess I don't feel like it to be completely honest as well and it's still gonna be on time tomorrow provided the Wi-Fi is fine in Malaysia which I'm hoping it is kind of sort of maybe <laughs> tomorrow's not a show day so it's a travel day and the flight's like 11 hours so I have no excuse Today I think I can just write it and watch some Jane and go to sleep. Today in the adventures of what's wrong with Lily's body, my left eye is randomly swollen. As you can see, I don't know why. Yesterday it was my foot, now it's my eye. No idea whatsoever. So it's a good thing I didn't record my video today. I also been like, 
Hello, my name is Super Woman, and I'm this. I know I keep pointing out the flaws in my face, but that's because I'm staring at my face in this screen for most of the day. I love myself still, but holy crap, you need to pray. Let's see how we did today. Half points for video. I'm not gonna give myself full points. Half points for video. Let's see how we did today. I'm not wearing pants, so I very well could be going to the washroom, but I'm not. Thank you for joining me on today. New Zealand, you were amazing. I forgot to do something. Hold on. Non toilet talk. Rewind. Oh. Got it. Back to the toilet. Toilet talk. We're literally part 20 to redo this because this is what the fans in the audience were passing out. Okay, are you ready for this? So everyone in the audience got one of these. This is fan made. This has nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. We have a wonderful surprise plan for tonight, and with your help, it can be executed perfectly. At the end of Lily's show, we have planned for the entire crowd to sing a tribute for Lily. We'll wait for her to exit stage, then begin to sing the below song, Lyric Supply. This is Lily's most treasured song, and we feel that singing this song as a collective will be a really special moment held between all of us. Francesca will be sitting at the front row while Watch out for her as Lily goes off stage. I will stand up and count us in. I love it. They give it lyrics and then it says, and lastly, don't forget to be a great, respectful audience member for Mama Unicorn tonight. Please don't watch the show through your phone and pay attention. And then they gave the lyrics to Three Little Birds. I love, like, who? Show me who else is fans. Show me. Show me. When would your, you know what you were saying? When would your idol ever, to be honest? When would your fans ever, to be honest? When? Y'all are the best. New Zealand, you're so wonderful. And you have done this around the world. So thank you so much. You're so lovely. I'm so blessed and grateful to share these memories with you. There's only two shows left. Like today when I was about to go on stage, I was like, oh my God, this is the third. And the thing is like, I'm not going to tour again for a long time. That's the sad reality. Like I... It's gonna be years. So like, as I'm setting side stage, like I'm gonna get really emotional last show because I'm gonna be like, it's gonna be years until I get to do this again. And I love doing this. Second last show, we're on our way to Malaysia tomorrow. Until then, if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Rise up this morning with a puffy eye. Smile at the rising sun with a puffy eye. Three little birds with non puffy eyes. Perch on my doorstep, I got a puffy eye. Singing sweet songs about my puffy eye. Of melodies pure and true, not about a puffy eye.